Okay, this morning is a gentle practice with pranayama to work on the Swadhisthana chakra, bringing some balance into the Swadhisthana chakra area. Swadhisthana means my own place. And this is our own personal place where we practice our boundaries and also a healthy connection to intimacy. Uh, we practice coherency, we practice unity, we practice happiness and care not to steal our happiness from ourselves or others. So some of those words might have um, sounded familiar to you. And if they did, you might remember that they come from asteya and brahmacharya, non-stealing and moderation or right use of energy, two of the yamas or social conducts. So that's what we'll be exploring today in this gentle yoga practice with pranayama. Let's start in by bringing our right hand under supporting the left hand and put your thumbs together. Very simple mudra, relaxing the hands in your seat, on your legs if you'd like. And then start to lower the eyelids or close the eyes. Pull the rib cage together a little bit. Engage light engagement in Mula Bandha. Rolling the shoulders back. Tall spine, chin in towards the throat. And visualize the color orange, just below the navel center. Swadhisthana chakra, one's own place is what this means. The Bija mantra for this chakra is Vam, V-A-M. And it sounds like this as you visualize orange just below the navel. Vam, 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 vam. Visualizing orange, go ahead and chant that mantra with me. Vam, 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 vam. We're setting a seed, bija, a seed, a seed mantra. Ready? Twice again. Vam, 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 vam. One more. Vam, 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 vam. We have two mantras today, the Bija mantra, and then Om Mani Padmi Hom. Om Mani Padmi Hom means the jewel of consciousness is in the heart's lotus, or we have everything we need within. We don't need to struggle and push and look outwards. We have everything within. So this mantra sounds like this. Om Mani Padme Hom. Om Mani Padme Hom. Om Mani Padme Hom. Oh Mani Padme Hom. So it's the line, Om Mani Padme Hom. Repeat it. So see if you can give it a try with me. We'll just chant it once today. Om Mani Padme Hom. Om Mani Padme Hom. Om Mani Padme Hom. Om Mani Padme Hom. The jewel of consciousness is in the heart's lotus. Everything is within, everything is within reach. Swarisana chakra, the element represented here is water. So there's a lot of fluidity. We might flow out of our boundaries. But we really have everything we need. We don't need to go far to find it. We have peace. We have calm right here. We have bliss. And then gently open the eyes and release your hands. All right, we're moving into our pranayama practice today. And to practice a little brahmacharya, a little moderation, 
in our breathing. We don't want to breathe too fast. We want to slow it down a little bit, pay attention to it, and give it its due. So what we're going to practice today is Anuloma Viloma and then Pratiloma Viloma. Uh, these will help you to definitely slow down your breath rate. Anuloma Viloma is where you breathe in through both nostrils and then you breathe out through just one side. You'd breathe in through both, breathe out through the other side. We'll try five rounds of that today. Then we'll practice Pratiloma Viloma, where you breathe in through the left and then you exhale both nostrils. Breathe in through the right, exhale both nostrils. This is an excellent way to balance the right and left side. Brahmacharya is about balance. Swadhisthana is always trying to seek balance, but it loves to have pleasure. It loves to have joy. It's kind of sloppy sometimes. So we're bringing some balance and boundaries to our breath with these two pranayamas. So first know Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Jnana Mudra. Right hand is going in Vishnu. So bring your right hand into a light fist and open the thumb and the last two fingers. We'll use this for both of the pranayama practices. So first, Anuloma Viloma is going to breathe in through both nostrils. Then we're gonna close off the left one and breathe out through the right. I'm just gonna show it to you first. Breathe in through both. And then breathe out through the left. And that would be one round. You ready to try? We're going to hold the nostrils with the thumb and the pink and the ring finger, excuse me. Okay, so breathe in through both nostrils. Close off your left, breathing out through the right. In both. Out left. In both. Out right. In both. Out left. Three more rounds. In both. Out right. In both. Out left. Two more rounds in both. Out right. In both. Out left. In both. Out right. In both, and out left. Relax your hands, Jnana Mudra, index finger to the thumb. Take five natural breaths, then we'll try Pratalomba Viloma. Just creating some boundaries to find balance. Swadhisthana chakra is all about fluidity, transition. It wants to move. It has water. It has great force behind it. Sometimes we need to capture some of that water and make sure that we're using the right amount of energy. We're not overusing our energy or using it in the wrong ways. We're corralling it for self-realization. We save our energy. All right, let's try Pratiloma Viloma. So now we're going to come back to our Vishnu Mudra. And I'll show you first, we're going to breathe in through the left. Exhale through both nostrils. Breathe in through the right. Exhale both. All right, and we'll try that for five rounds. So thumb to right nostril, let's begin. Inhale left. Exhale both. Bring finger on left nostril. Inhale right. Exhale both. Inhale left. Exhale both. 
Inhale, right. Exhale, both. Three more rounds. Inhale, left. Exhale, both. Inhale, right. Exhale, both. Inhale, left. Exhale, both. Inhale, right. Exhale, both. Last round, inhale, left. Exhale, both. Inhale, right. Exhale, both. Bring your hands on tops of your legs. Index finger to the thumb, five natural breaths. Inhale, belly, ribs, all the way up into the collarbones. And exhale, collarbones, pull in the ribs, pull back the navel to the spine. Inhale, abdomen expands, ribs expand, and collarbones broaden. Exhale, collarbones, ribs, and belly. Try that three times on your own. Now on this last one, Count your inhale. Does it come to four? Inhale, one, two. Does it go all the way to five or six? Don't push too much. Use your energy in the right way or you'll be stealing from yourself. And then exhale. How will I be stealing from myself? You might be asking. Stick with that even breath. Inhale for your own natural count. And then exhale for the same. If you're pushing your breath too hard or holding the breath, what you're stealing from yourself is your health, your well-being. You might create anxiety in the body. If you're not really focusing on your breath here, then you're stealing from yourself a moment of presence, being in the now. So important and so, so valuable. That's helping to tame the Swadhisthana chakra that just wants to move. Swadhisthana chakra is about birth, growth, preservation, fluidity, movement, intimacy, passion flow, healthy sexuality and intimacy come from this place. Brahmacharya is definitely involved with that. So is Asteya, not stealing anything from anybody. Try to find an equal inhale to exhale before we move on. What feels comfortable to you? What is the right use of your energy today? Is it breathing in for four or five or maybe six or eight? I know some of you are very slow breathers. Make sure that your exhale is the same count. We have 30 seconds left to explore this. And just look at it like that as an exploration, nothing more, no self-critique, no judgment. Self-critique and judgment can lead to more anxiety, can lead to depression. And that's definitely stealing something from this moment. Just exploring 
with a beautiful yogic curiosity. We're grounded, we're safe. This is a great place to explore. We're grounded because of the Muladhara Chakra, because of this beautiful seat you're in. Good, and then opening the eyes, try to remember your count for the postures that we'll be taking. So we're going to sit on the edge of our blanket, if you have one, and take your legs long. Now, some of us have very tight hamstrings. And so if you have tight hamstrings, one option is to put blocks under your knees for this posture. You can also bring your legs a little bit closer together, as long as that doesn't tilt you too, uh, too far back, I wanna say. So you wanna be able to move your sits bones away so your pelvis tilts slightly forward and we're going to bring our hands to the sides and keep your blocks there or not up to you you can even just bend your knees if you'd like if that works for you and we're going to take our right hand far right and reach the left arm up and over take a big exhale inhale coming up exhale go over to the left Now come back to your even breath, inhale and exhale, moving at your own count of your even breath, inhale and exhale. Keep moving, feel free to close your eyes. The Swadhisthana Chakra stores the energy of the moon and while I'm filming this class today, it is a full moon. Like your arms are the full moon. Feel the pleasure and the joy in this movement. Not stealing from yourself the qualities of the Swadhisthana Chakra. Pleasure. Passion. Within its boundaries, of course, Brahmacharya. Good. Let's keep flowing just a little longer, enjoying this flow side to side. And then come back to a neutral seat. Stop and breathe. Keep your legs very active. Even if the knees are bent, you can keep your quadriceps strong. And then opening the eyes, take your left heel towards the groin. Open your right leg as much as feels comfortable for you. We're going to take a lateral flexion here as well. And we're going to turn it into a twist. So take your right hand towards your right foot. Keep your right leg very, very active. That'll help keep your pelvis stable. That's the boundaries of this joyful pose. Keep the pelvis stable while you reach up. Inhale and exhale. Bring the arm over the ear if you have a healthy feeling shoulder today. If not, you can always bring your hand behind you. And then slowly start to turn your head to the sky, which turns this posture into a twist. If you need a little more opening today, you can take your hands to your ribs and open them. Find the openness, the fluidity in this posture, even though you're safely, securely, on the floor. Two more breaths. Even breath, inhale to exhale. One more breath. And inhale, come back carefully. And let's change sides. So bring the right leg in and extend the left leg long. 
that really, that posture really helps you to open the QL area, quadratus lumborum area, the top of your hips connected to the bottom of the ribs. Sometimes that area gets tight and makes sitting uncomfortable. So we're trying to find a little more fluidity in our day by opening some key muscles to help us to have a beautiful gait and a little more fluidity. Take a left hand over towards the left foot, left leg very active, right leg active, pelvis active. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over. So keep pressing through your right sits bone. I know it wants to pop up, don't allow it. Slowly, slowly turn your head to the sky before we start counting our breaths. And maybe your hand needs to be behind your head to support you or behind your back, lots of options here or even at your ribs to open you a little more. Start your even breath, inhaling and exhaling. Tongue towards the roof of the palate, tip of the tongue towards the back of the teeth to calm the mind. From the flood, the waves of thoughts. Take two more slow, even breaths, gazing up. And then gently bring your head back to neutral and your torso back to neutral. All right, we're getting ready for cat-cow. So I have a blanket. You're welcome to use your blanket under your knees if you're on a floor or something that's hard please feel free to use this. Putting it under your knees and bringing your hands a little wider than your shoulders. We're practicing cat-cow here. Bittilasa Marjorie Asana. Those are really long names, so it's much easier to say cat-cow. We're going to make sure that the feet are behind the knees. And if you have tight wrists or sore wrists, you can walk your hands a little in front of your shoulders. That'll help take some of the weight off of the wrists. I'm going to drop the belly and inhale, lift the head. Imagine you're looking up into a full moon. And then exhale, round the spine. Gaze into the Swadhisthana Chakra, which is located just below the navel. Inhale, look to the third eye and up to a full moon. Exhale. Now start to move at your own even breath. I won't cue it, but take three more on your own because everybody's even breath is different. Stick with your breath. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. That's stealing this beautiful present moment from yourself. And take your last one. And make sure when you come back to table and nothing is in your way on your right or left side. We're going to bring our bottom back to child pose. Now, some of you might have knee flexion issues. If you do, you can either take your blanket between your calves and your thighs so that your bottom doesn't come all the way down to your heels, or you can sit on a block. That also helps putting your block between your bottom and your heels. Otherwise, just go ahead and sit on the heels and we're going to extend our arms out like a T. I want you to turn your head left, please. Turn your head to gaze towards your left hand. Give me a light, gentle stretch of the neck. Find your even breath, giving a little massage right here to Swadhisthana Chakra. Good. 
Good, inhale, come back to the center, and then turn your head far right. Even breath, two more. Just a gentle stretch of the neck. Maybe you can bring your ear towards the floor or the left temple towards the floor. And then slowly forehead to the floor and walk yourself back. Now, if you have knee flexion issues, I'll show you a little modification you can take in this next sequence, which is called Janu Namaskara. This is a traditional Krishmacharya style namaskara done on the knees. So it's a sun salutation on the knees. So instead of starting this, if you have knee flexion issues with your bottom on your heels, you would start here. We're all gonna move to the backs of our mats. I'm gonna start on my heels. Remember again, you can start sitting up, okay? Inhale, follow along with me. Gazing up, but you don't have to lift your chin too high. Stay in moderation, keep your neck safe and happy. Exhale, forward fold, child's pose, but a really long one. Inhale, chakra vakrasana, which is this, this is called belly drops. Look to the third eye. It's called chakra vakrasana in the Krishmacharya lineage. Exhale, pull the belly in, round. Bring your bottom towards your heels. It doesn't have to touch. Inhale, arms alongside the ears, reaching up, engaging your core. And exhale, option one, arms down, or option two, arms in bottom. Okay? We're going to try that five times together. Inhale. Find your even breath. Exhale, hands come forward. Inhale, chakra vakrasa. Look to the third eye. This would be like cow pose. Exhale like cat pose, bottom towards your heels. Now keep your chin to your throat, arms alongside the ears. Inhale, come up like a plank. Exhale. Ready? Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to lead you through one more, so pay attention to the sequence. You'll do two on your own. Exhale. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the eyes. Exhale, round the spine, bottom back to the heels. Inhale, staying inside. Exhale. Now, try two on your own and see if you can close your eyes on one or both of those rounds. Count your equal breath. If you get lost, I'm still practicing it on the screen so you can watch. Last one.
And you're either up on your knees or sitting on your heels. This posture is called Vajrasana, lightning bolt. Keep your spine as tall as possible. And stay inside. Come back to your equal breath. Brahmacharya originally meant celibacy. And while it wasn't very popular, <laughs> it did and it does still provide a ways to come inside. You're not trying to be attractive to others. You're not maybe dressing specially or doing special things to attract others. You're instead going inside, using any energy that you might use to attract others for your own personal self-realization. Asteya comes just before that, not taking that moment from yourself, really giving yourself this presence, this now, moving in towards self-realization. Take three more even breaths. And then opening your eyes when you're ready. So I'm gonna to turn to face you on the side of my mat. And I'm gonna bring my legs down or my knees onto the blanket today for a little more support and have two blocks handy. So we're coming into what would be our standing poses, but it's a gentle yoga practice. So we're coming into gate pose sequence. We're gonna take our right hand in a line out from the right knee on a block, extend the left leg long and point the toes. Now you're welcome to put your block up higher here or even here, if you'd like a little more space in the body today. Right? And then we're gonna take the left arm up and all the way over. Reach it all the way over the ear, keeping your gaze forward. Engage Mula Bandha, lift the pelvic floor, pull the navel in and up towards the heart. These are practices of brahmacharya. Engaging, holding in your energy, holding in the beautiful fluidity of Swadhisthana Chakra. Let it move you towards self-realization. Don't allow the energy to dissipate. Good. Two more breaths, equal inhale to exhale. Nice, and then inhale, coming up. Take your left hand long, reach your right arm up and over the right ear. Option to keep your gaze forward, or if it feels comfortable for you, turn your gaze up, five equal breaths. Take one more breath. And inhale, coming back to the center. This one will require two blocks. Bring your right block a little bit closer and take your left block on top. So for this one, you can tuck your right toes down into the floor and take your left foot and put it parallel to the end of the mat. I'll even open my right shoulder a little bit more by turning my block open. Take the left arm up Reach up as high as you can. Now pull pubic bone to navel, so you get a nice long spine. And start to extend the spinal column. Lift your chest, roll the shoulder blades together on your back, squeeze them, 
and turn your eyes up. Now see if you can find a little more length in this posture by lifting your heart. Don't go for a deep back bend. Right? Keep your pivot bone towards your navel, but lift. Lift with the left hand as high as you can. Take three more even breaths here. Eyes going up. You don't have to lift your chin too high. Keep Mula Bandha engaged. That'll keep your pelvis stable. Legs stable in this pose. Keep lifting the pelvic floor as if you have to go tinkle, but the bathroom's about a block away. It's not four blocks away. It's only one block, so not too tightly squeezing there. Just a little lift. Everything in moderation. Good, one more breath. And release the left arm. Now, keeping your leg open, walk your hands forward and let's just shake out our hips a little bit. Like you're dancing. Swadhisthana chakra. Those who are having trouble feeling a little deficient in this area might feel a little dry, have flat emotions, no joy. Don't allow themselves to have a good time. Just shake it out here like you're dancing. One of the fixes for that character would be to go dancing, go swimming, get in the water. Right. And then stretch your left hand a little further forward, extend your right arm to the sky. And slowly with the palm facing up, slide the right hand under the left arm. Turn your gaze as high as possible. Five breaths, stretching the upper body. Opening the navel to the left. And then slide the left hand back just a little more and bring your right hand alongside of your left hand. Now let's change back to knees together and move your blocks to the other side, please. So we have the block on the left and it's out in a straight line from the left knee. We're going to extend the right leg long this time. Find pubic bone towards navel, engage the pelvic floor, lift it lightly, belly in and up towards the heart, Uddiyana Bandha engaged, holding in the beautiful fluidity of the Swadhisthana Chakra. All the potential there. Inhale, reach the arm up and over the ear. Option to keep your gaze forward or turn it up, depending on how your neck feels. Keep a very pelvis, a very stable pelvis, stable legs, slight activity going on in the glutes. Where does this feel good? Swadhisthana likes to feel, likes to move. Take two more even breaths here. Don't forget to count your breaths. And then inhale, coming up. You can turn your right foot forward if that feels more stable for you, or if you want a little more openness, keep the foot open. Take the left arm up and over. Again, pubic bone to navel, lots of engagement in this area, and then reach up and over. The more you're engaged in the lower body, the more freedom you have in your upper body. Option to keep your gaze forward or turn it up. Imagine water is just flowing through your left knee, up through your left side of your body, out through your arm. Equal breaths, two more.
One more, nice equal breath. And then come back. Ah, spend a moment here. And then we'll open the eyes and reach for your other block. Turn your right foot parallel to the end of the mat. And take your block on top of the other blocks. You have lots and lots of space. Open, externally rotate through the left shoulder, giving yourself even more space. Again, pubic bone to navel. Inhale, rise. Turn the palm back and lift. Now try to bring your arm a little bit more behind the ear. Lift a little bit higher. You can turn your eyes up. Stability through the legs. Imagine you're reaching for something. What if you're reaching towards your higher power, your essential truth? That's what Brahma means. Charya means to walk with. Brahma Charya, to walk with your higher power. your higher source, your Atman, your soul, your essential goodness, your universal self. Two more, equal breaths. Nicely done, now release. And we'll move our blocks out of the way. Walk your hands forward. Good. Shake your hips a little here. Feel the movement. Cultivate some generosity in the hips. That has to do with asteya. Cultivate generosity. Feel the abundance. You have enough. No reason to take it from anybody else or anything else. Shake your hips right and left. Shake them like nobody's watching. Good work. Now take your right hand forward. Extend your left arm high. Breathe in. And with the passion of the Swadhisthana Chakra, left palm facing up. Take a nice twist here. Stretch your right arm long. Right in front of you. Feel a wonderful twist in the low belly area. The twists in the shoulders. There's a lot of bliss in this pose. If your head doesn't come all the way to the floor, you can put your head on a block. Good. Take one more equal breath. And then slowly coming back. Nicely done. Walk yourself back carefully. And you may sit on your blanket if you'd like. Please have your two blocks or supports handy. We're moving in towards our back bend. So laying down on the floor is going to be Supta Bada Konasana, reclined bound angle pose. Make sure you have a couple of blocks or supports. We're gonna take the soles of our feet together as we open the knees and bring your blocks under the thighs. You can also prop them a little higher if you'd like. Lifting the low back just a bit, finding a little back bend here. Hands on just below the navel. Feeling the fluidity of the breath, the peace and the movement that we've taken. Our right here is to feel. This is our emotion center. 
to feel, to move those feelings within some boundaries, of course. We don't want to get sloppy and we don't want to be dry here. Feel yourself being breathed. Feel the movement of the low belly. Two more breaths. You don't even have to control the breath here. Just feel yourself being breathed. Your body will probably start to mimic what you've been working on with it. That equal breath. Nicely done, then open the eyes, remove very carefully the blocks, bring your knees together, and keep one block in your hands. So, what we're going to do next is lift our bottom and put your block under your sacrum. Give yourself a nice little stretch in the lumbar spine. Extend your arms out like a cactus and pull your knees in towards your chest, giving you more of a stretch in the lumbar spine. A nice stretch there. And then very carefully and slowly lift the legs. Press your heels up. Allow the navel to lower towards the spine. Press your heels up like you mean it, like you're holding up that beautiful moon in the sky. Press the heels up. Press, press, press. Good. One more breath. And then bring your heels together and turn the toes out like Charlie Chaplin feet. So pressing through the heels and now also the balls of the feet. Right, and then bring your feet back to neutral. Bend your knees in towards your chest. And soles of the feet are on the floor. Now let's make sure we don't have anything on either side of us. It might get in the way. We're going to extend our left leg long, bringing the right knee into Ardha Apanasana, half apana posture, downward winds pose. And then slowly take the right leg over to the left and take three equal breaths as you gaze right. When you've finished, bring your knee back to the center, holding onto the shin, not the knee joint, and then release your right leg. And then bring your left leg in, holding onto the shin, stretch your right leg long, giving a nice massage to the intestines. Swadhisthana chakra rules over the reproductive organs, bladder, lower intestines. And slowly bring the left leg over to the right, extending your left arm long, gazing left if you can. Three slow, even breaths. When you finish your third one, bring yourself back to the center and bring both legs in towards the chest. Now lifting the head 
towards your knees. Take a big inhale. Hold your inhale, squeeze your toes, squeeze your belly, squeeze your face, squeeze your fingers. Hold the inhale, three, two, one, and let everything go. Exhale. Ah, Shavasana. Maybe you'd like to have something under your head like a blanket or something under your sacrum if that tends to bother you in this posture. Sometimes people get a little achy in the hips. Separate your feet, pull the shoulder blades together. Lengthen the tailbone towards your heels. And lift your head, bringing your chin towards your throat, lengthening the neck on the floor. Bring your awareness to the space just below the navel. Orange in color, Swadhisthana Chakra. Inhale here at the area of the Swadhisthana Chakra. And exhale through the navel. Inhale, low belly. Exhale, low belly. Now see if you can inhale, navel, all the way up into the heart area. Inhale, navel, into the heart. And exhale, heart to the navel. One more, inhale, navel, to heart, and exhale, heart to navel. Next, we're going to try to take our breath from the navel to the top of the head where brahmacharya is, our higher self. Inhale, navel, ribs, heart, all the way to the top of the head, beyond the top of the head. And exhale it back down to the navel. Just one more time, creating unity between navel and top of head. And then just relax and allow yourself to be breathed. Allow the fluid breath to move through your body naturally. Don't allow this moment to be stolen from you. Asteya. Stay with your breath, watching your breath. Practicing unity, brahmacharya, to walk with your higher self. Staying here, present in this moment. Even though the world is going around, things are moving around you. Spanda is happening, contraction and expansion. Stay here.
Watch your breath. And then slowly come back into your sense awareness once again by listening to the sounds around you. Not identifying or trying to analyze them, just allow your awareness to jump from sound to sound. Notice any smells in the air. Move your tongue around, noticing any tastes. Notice all of the places that your body is touching the earth, the floor, your foundation beneath you. Start to wiggle your toes and then your fingers. Move your ankles and your wrists. Take any bigger stretches that you like that feel comfortable to you. And then bend your knees and roll on to your right side, activating your moon side of your body, your left side, your calm, cool, ida side. Then bring your left hand, please, to the floor and gently bring yourself to a seat. Take your time coming up. You might choose to sit on your blanket again or a block. Bring the hands to the heart center, grace and reverence. This morning for Swadhisthana Chakra, Brahmacharya, Asteya, two of the social constraints. The chakra of fluidity, personal place where we take care of ourselves. We know where to draw our boundaries. We know how to have pleasure. We keep ourselves healthy and well. We give to ourselves and we give to others. This is the place of balance. 
Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Big exhale first. Inhale deeply. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. It's been an honor to lead your practice. Thank you for allowing me to. Om Shanti.